No, don't fucking ask me. You know how many people ask me for fucking money? A lot, all the time. Fucking no, it's a, it's all no policy. It's not a dollar. It's not one cent. Go the fuck away. You're a grown adult over the fucking age of 21. That's not in college. Figure it out for your fucking self. Okay. So uh, Tom is a lot nicer than I am. So you should hate on me instead of him. I mean, he loans money to Sheena. Now he's, we find out he's loaned money to Jeremy Maddox during COVID. I mean, why do you all hate Tom so much? And by the way, by the way, is it possible I'm just asking, is it possible? I mean, now we have gone from endorsement deals to phase two, Dancing with the Stars, to phase three, starring as Roxy Hart in Chicago, in Chicago to now phase four. I mean, a million dollars to host Love Island and replace Sarah Hyland from Modern Family. I mean, is it possible? So first of all, I mean, I think Love Island, the million dollars is probably the best payday for Ariana yet. Second of all, is it possible that Ariana is mad at Sandoval, doesn't enjoy Sandoval, doesn't like Sandoval, but isn't it possible that perhaps Ariana isn't as mad as she is letting on to Sandoval anymore? Everyone else seems to be moving on Lala has moved on. I mean, you can't make this shit up. Isn't it possible that Ariana is just riding the wave that all the rest of us are riding of Scandival? I don't think she likes the guy. I don't think she wants to have a full conversation with the guy. I don't think she wants to talk to the guy. I don't think she feels sorry for the guy. And I don't think she necessarily wishes him well. But isn't it possible she's not as angry anymore as she's letting on? that she's playing into it too. I mean, a million dollars? I say make him the, the 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 devil and keep that going for as long as you can cuz it's working. Isn't it possible? I'm just asking here on a Tuesday afternoon. Isn't it possible that she has a team advising her like, "Girl, you got Roxy Hart, you got Dancing with the Stars." Now it's like a year later. You're going to make little jokes. Well, I know a thing or two about a cheater. I mean, you know, this is all going to be on Love Island. Well, you know, he's cheating. And a uh, girl, let me come to your room and have a conversation or whatever the fuck the host does on Love Island. But it's a million dollars. Isn't it possible that she's riding this wave? Isn't it possible? I think so. I don't think she's even as angry as she's letting out to be anymore. I think she has a whole team that's advising her. Just keep going. That this is why you're getting opportunities, you know? And she wants to create generational wealth for her, her family. I think you've done it. Carl and Lindsay, we're not learning anything new. We're learning about their sex life. Apparently, the biggest red flag um, to Lindsay was when Carl said during their marriage, you know, their relationship, oh, the thing I learned about Lindsay is she likes sex way more than I thought. And Lindsay's like, well, what does that mean? Because we're only having sex like we've had sex twice in the past year. Paige came out and said, you know, well, the, everyone's shocked that she's revealing this about her then fiance. Paige came out and said, you know, my boyfriend and I fight all the time, but we still have sex every day. So go Craig, you're getting laid every day, ma'am. Good for you. Craig Conover, who knew? Uh, Sheena, you know, we know about the threesome with John Mayer, she says. John Mayer is disgusted. He wants nothing to do with Sheena. Oh, how dare you? This didn't happen. LVP was just recently asked about it. She's like, doll, like I've been in France. I have no idea about any of this. A threesome with John Mayer, Sheena. Okay, well, that's possible. LVP is just like, uh, cha-ching, cha-ching. Just keep talking about it. I mean, producer on Vanderpump Villa, producer on The Valley, producer on Vanderpump Rules, three shows on Bravo. I say LVP, whether you're a fan or not, is winning. I don't think we give her, we talk about Bethany Frankel winning Housewives. I don't think uh, we give credit uh, to Lisa Vanderpump. Three shows and she barely just pops in and pops up the kids. I mean, they might speak back to her every now and then, but not really. Not if she was on the Housewives. She'd be getting it. She's never going back to that show. Um, keeping it in the Vanderpump family for a minute. Uh... I don't even know what I was going to say. Um, James made uh, T-shirts that says Sloppy Joe, making fun of our good friend Joe. 
Joe's growing on me. She ain't no alley cat and she ain't no Rachel Levis, but Joe's growing on me. I don't mind her. Um, don't love her as much as some of you. So he made, um, you know, look, the more someone's bullied like Rachel Levis, the more I'm going to like them. That's why I like Levis, but I really do like Rachel Levis. But uh, James made uh, T-shirts that said Sloppy Joe and uh, had, you know, a picture of a Sloppy Joe and a picture of our friend Joe Weinberg. And uh, then said under the Sloppy Joe with a picture of Joe Weinberg, there's something about me. Now, I love it. Brilliant idea, James. James Kennedy. Uh, lots of backlash that Mr. Kennedy is profiting once again. They all profited, sent it to Daryl. They all profited on uh, Scandable. We all have something about her merch. There's no you know real shop to support that. Probably never will be. But, you know, James says that uh, he boosted the post. So Mr. Kennedy cannot take the post down. This is drama, guys, because he boosted it. Don't mess with Mr. Kennedy's coins. But... After some prompting from Alley Cat, uh, he has said he will split the proceeds with Joe. So I would like somebody to contact Joe and find out, did he really split the proceeds with Joe? Mr. Kennedy, keep all that to yourself. Brilliant idea. I mean, why do you, I mean, I don't see anything wrong. If it was your idea, why not, right? Take the money and run, Jamesy boy. Take the money and run. Um... On Sunday, we did a little one of these quick hits and I said, you know, I don't know if I believe Bethany. And I was so like, I don't know if I should really say that because like, oh, everyone's going to come for me. And, you know, did she really get punched in the face in New York? And now everyone is like doing the exact opposite. All of a sudden there's videos and this and that. Nobody believes Bethany. Well, go listen to our Sunday show because didn't I say that first? I just don't see it. You, were, you talk about scraping out, you know, the cream cheese on your fucking bagel and uh, why you love Vegemite on your sandwiches. Welcome home, Bethany, from uh, Australia. I don't buy it. I don't buy that this Bethany, um, I don't buy it. I don't buy that she um, was punched in the face and kept it to herself for months. I don't see it. I just don't see it. Do you see it? Katie and Sheena are having it out. I'm telling you, it's going to be Ariana and Katie versus everyone next season. I mean, Lala, Lala's, please. Lala is like full court scandal basically at this time. Um, but regardless of that, um, now there is drama between Katie and Sheena over um, Katie hooking up with Max. Katie is like, Sheena was not trying to help me. She was trying to be shady and track where I was and cause drama and didn't even text me. Well, now she is revealing the receipts. I did text you, bitch. I did care about you. So, I mean, does anyone care? Does anyone care that 